filming? We're filming? Okay. Hi. This is Dom here. On Buck Mountain. Water. Book bag. I've climbed many peaks. 46 actually. 46 in two days. You might say. An hour. An hour and a half. Each peak. No. 30 minutes. 15 up, maybe 14 down, and then a minute in my car on the way to the next one. But here, you see, on top of Buck Mountain, it's not just any ordinary mountain. This is an Indian burial ground. Yes, Indian burial ground, you want to know what that is? Pet Cemetery. Watch it. But here, there's one, two. Two's a little messed up, got a little knocked over. Then we have three. The forms. The Native American Triangle of Mohegan Suns. The Mohegan Suns on a certain day of a certain month. Three suns come to the sky and they beam onto each Indian burial ground. And what that does, it creates like a rain dance of Indians. And these arrows here will separate you from reality to white noise. White noise means another dimension of ghosts. And they have this gathering here that shows the life and death of this earth. And they're just fucking dancing. They're fucking dancing. Look at that hawk. That hawk knows. He's like, it has begun. A little something you want to know about Buck Mountain. Guys, look here. Look what we just came across. Look what we just stumbled upon. A four Indian burial ground. Which means that there's the fourth sun that comes to the sky. It might be weird, might be creepy, but I think that's just where this hawk came from. And it wasn't an ordinary hawk. It was a Native American hawk. Let's keep it moving. Some of the pops across, not a pause, across a broken up Indian burial ground, maybe by some kids. So what I'll do for the Native Americans, I will slowly recreate it. This means there could be a fifth and final sun. This takes time, maybe a little effort, maybe some weird shit underneath these rocks, but whatever for the afterlife, you know? All right, that's good. Let's keep it moving. Granite, beautiful rock. A little thing I like to do before I leave Buck Mountain is to uh, celebrate the Native Americans' pastime by throwing a rock over on its end, meaning down the hill. I'll show you. I just broke the rock and there's bees. Let's keep it moving. As we come to a close at Buck Mountain, I would like to say I had a great time and I'm sure you did as well. We learned a lot about Native American burial grounds. Um, we learned about rain dancing, makes hawks fly, pretty cool. Um, saw great views, just an all around great time. Uh, the weather was nice, sun was good, ate a couple acorns, made me sick, but other than that, 100% great day. And I wish you all the best. See you next time. Let's keep it moving.